doing these, these basic transitions will help your B-roll make a lot more sense in your vlogs. And they're not hard. Let's see what it's like. Uh, she's hot. Oop, mm -mm. It's too cold. Savannah might be coming back today. Uh, I don't know yet. And she doesn't know either. Savannah went to go visit her family, and uh, I, the reason I didn't go is because I just I had some personal stuff that came up that made me not be able to go. But long story short, she uh, the original plan was for her to come back today, but she may just she may just stay one more day. Cause I mean, honestly, we're not we're not doing anything anyway. So somebody asked about her, so I just figured I would I would I, that's why I'm acknowledging that right right now. <laughs> Time lapse you just saw wasn't caught on this camera, it was actually caught on that little point. Could you tell? That's a, that's a Peloton. Just in case you can't see that, those are movers playing on a Peloton in the parking lot that they're, they're supposed to be moving. Since it's cold today, uh, today's gonna be more of a sit down and talk kind of vlog instead of like the, the running around that I that I normally I normally do. Uh, okay, also look at that. Just a lot of characters out today. Doing these these basic transitions will help your B-roll make a lot more sense in your vlogs. And they're not hard. All right, to do these, I'm, uh, I'm going inside because right here there's like a wind and on top of that it's like 30 degrees. So um, we're gonna go inside to do, I wanted to go outside, but uh, it's just too cold, too cold. And all of these, all of these transitions, I do pretty much every vlog, like this last sequence had a few of them in there. Uh, if you can figure out what ones I used, uh, let me know. The first one I made videos about before, but it's just going to be the L cut and the J cut. And basically what that means is you have audio from the previous or the next clip that drags into the, the existing clip that's being played. It's a phenomenal tool to help transition you either in or out of like a new scene. A good example would be if I'm making coffee and I want the sound of the coffee grinder to go into the next scene, which is just gonna be a talking head, that would create a nice easy transition and make and make it feel like you're being guided into it instead of just thrown into the next scene. The next one's just going to be about clip length. Typically what I'll do is I'll do a sequence of three to five shots within a B-roll sequence, and within those I'll have a fast, fast, and probably like a slower, slower clip, meaning that first clip and the second clip will be around like two to three seconds, and then the last clip will be like five seconds or something like that. And what that does, at least for me in my brain, is it takes tells me, okay, something's happening, this clip is a lot longer, it's giving my brain a chance to process and digest what it just saw, and prepares me for the the, the next sequence. It doesn't have to be like a three to five uh, clip, it, that's just like a general thing that I try to do, but like I said, every video is gonna be a little bit different, and sometimes the clips are more or less less than that. And sometimes, depending on the, the situation, it may just be a single clip dividing the, the two scenes. And the last one is going to be uh, with, with music. I'll make sure the B-roll sequence is a full musical idea, meaning that the chord progression that is playing has finished, and that can be like, it can repeat itself once, twice, sometimes three times if you wanted a longer B-roll sequence, but I try my best when I want it to feel smooth and natural to let that musical sequence or that chord progression, is what it's technically called, play out all the way till the end going into the next scene. If I want it to be abrupt, then I'll purposely chop it halfway through or chap it on a specific chord to uh, give that sense of like angst and that sense of abruptness. I use those transitions pretty much, like I said, every video. Uh, if you use any of those or you found any of those helpful, let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, okay, what is he doing? Hey, what are you doing?
Thank you.